Pop quiz. Which of these do you think is a more engaging virtual learning environment for your students? A or B? If you said B, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. If you said A, you should stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Today, I want to show you a really simple way to customize your online teaching. If you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button below uh, so I can keep making content for you. All right, let's get started. Here we go. What you're looking at right now is a program called Streamlabs OBS. Uh, you might have heard of OBS as Open, Broadca open Broadcast Software. Um, that is a very popular streaming uh, program that a lot of people are using these days. And there is a way to actually import that as a virtual camera, the original OBS, as a virtual camera into Zoom, into Skype, into Google uh, Calls. But the thing is, it's really complicated and it's a huge pain and you have to like do another virtual input sort of thing, especially I'm dealing with Macs specifically. So to make this super simple for you, because I know we're, we're gonna be online teaching for, for a while. So this is absolutely worth your time and it's super simple. The, all you have to do to get Streamlabs OBS free software, uh, you just have to go to the website. I will link it below um, in the description so you can just link it right there and download Streamlabs OBS for um, for Mac. And then once you get it, super easy, you install it. I'm, I'm, I trust that you can do that. It will look like this when you open it up. Now, if you've used OBS proper before, it will look very similar. If you haven't used anything like this, uh, it might look a little overwhelming. Um, and I'll give you a very brief rundown on just a basic scene setup, because I'm sure that's where many of us might be starting, or it's a good review. So basic, basic Streamlabs tutorial. You have your scenes down here. Right now I have a bunch. You probably, if you're just teaching lessons or something, you might just need one or two. So scenes are down here. In the scenes, you create sources that then act in the scene. Right now I'm in my YouTube intro scene and I have um, everything muted. But I could add, so if I wanted to add a new scene, I'll just go to the little plus button over here and then you hit new scene, you could title it anything. You know, we'll just call it um, Zoom lesson. Easy. Hit done. There it is. Now there's nothing in the sources menu. And I'll, let me just make that a little bigger so you can see it. Um, nothing in the sources menu. There's nothing. So let's, let's add a camera so you can see that because we, of course, need to see you. The little plus above there goes to on sources, goes opens this. Don't worry about all this for now. That's more for like Twitch streaming and makes things like easier like that. By the way, follow me on Twitch. But right now we're just looking for the, the camera. So we're going to go over here to video capture device and then you hit add source. And then it's gonna ask you what you want. Right now you can see me, hello. So I already imported these. So for you, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go click this little toggle and then it'll ask you to name it and I'll just call it webcam with many M's so I forget. So I remember to, <laughs> to uh, delete it later. You add source and then it's gonna bring you to this menu and you select your option uh, and then you find your options. This is gonna be whatever you have plugged in or your built-in camera, right? As you can see, there's my um, main camera. If you use, use that for teaching on your, your laptop or something, that's fine. Uh, but I really strongly suggest you get something better than that if we're really kind of, because we're trying to give our students the best quality teaching here, right? So uh, if you can, I suggest upgrading, but this is fine too. So I'm gonna use this camera. There we go, hello. And you wanna select the highest preset just for quality, hit done, and then there you go. Now you can kind of slide this up, down, whatever, here you go. You can put it in the corner, however you want to do it. You can customize it in any way. You might be asking, okay, then why am I doing all this work just to have this here? Well, here's, I'm not going to build the whole thing now. Maybe this is a future video. To give an example of what could be possible is that, well, what you're seeing. And then I can address the camera here, play here, and it's far better for the, the learning experience for the student. What we can also do um, customize the background, right? By You could go in here and hit the little plus sign. You can import an image, anything from uh, um, the internet that we get. And what I did, actually, I did this for a student last week and I imported this image and to give it a little bit more color. All of a sudden, it, it looks very bright and exciting and the student loves to see that. The first thing they see on the call is this exciting, exciting thing. So uh, it's very inspiring to them and actually that lesson I had with, with uh, the new background was extremely productive for the student. So anyways, that's the basics. This is what's possible and I could do another video on showing you exactly how that is. Let me know. 
if you want to see that in the comments or on the Discord, right? Join my Discord for more community discussion on these things. But here's the point of the video, why we're really doing this. It's to get all of this that we're seeing into a video call. So now all we have to do makes it super simple. Go down here, hit the uh, this little button, the settings button, this will pop up. Go down to virtual webcam. And right now it says start virtual webcam. Yours might not say this right now. You might have to, for the first time, you have to download some drivers, in which case download them, install them, and then restart Streamlabs, and then it will work and it'll say this. And all you have to do is hit that button. Okay, so virtual cam is running. We put it in there. Now we just have to open up Zoom. Let's open it up down here, connect, start a new meeting. And that is my built, what you're seeing now is my built-in, uh, my built-in cam here. And oh, right there, Streamlabs OBS virtual webcam. You click on that and there you go. Everything that you see, and there's a little delay. <laughs> so there we go. Everything in Streamlabs is in Zoom and this works with Skype and Google. The one thing I will say is check your audio, is make sure that the, that the audio is set to the right uh, source because the Streamlabs virtual cam does not pick up audio. So actually when you're building your Streamlabs setting, you don't even need um, to set up a mic. You can just have a mic set up and then in Zoom, you just go here and then make sure you're picking the right one. There you go, I hope that helps and good luck. And that's it, super simple, right? I hope so. Uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, what else you'd like to see. If you want more discussions specifically surrounding these sorts of things, please join my Discord. Uh, it's open to everybody and it allows for a little bit more communication between us um, so that I might help out with the problem you're having. So please consider that and um, you know, follow me on Twitch as always. So I hope this helps and see you out in cyberspace.